G'day, welcome to Unity with Heaven. My name is Joseph and today I am with Elisma. We're going to minister to 10 people. If you also would like to receive ministry in this format, please write your name in the comments and I'll put you on the list to minister to you. Uh, so I'm going to start to minister. The first person is Shelly. Uh, uh, Shelly, uh, the Lord shows me a candle on the inside of you. And how the Lord comes with His flame of fire and He lights it. How the Lord fills you up with His Holy Spirit and with His baptism of fire. And the Lord says, Daughter, I'm burning all the old things away. The things that hold you back. The things that you think about your past where you were not good enough. And I'm pouring my love out on you. I'm, I'm declaring to you that you are my child. That you are mine. That I love you very much. And I'm putting inside of you a passion for God, a passion for Jesus to be in love with Him and to have that flame of the Holy Spirit burn inside of you. The Lord loves you very, very much. And the Lord is surrounding you, He's covering you, and I just see how you light up. God bless you, Shelley. Thank you. The next word is for GA. Um, I, I really experience that you are standing and, and God puts his hand over you. And it's, it's almost like you are bent over with, with sorrow, with worries, with things that is really bringing you down. And then God blesses you. He blesses you with joy. He blesses you with goodness and, and just who God is. And then all of a sudden you lift you up your shoulders and there's so much weight off you. So God wants to take all your burdens away from you so that you can be lifted in his name and so that you can move forward because there's much more that God has planned for your life. Be blessed. Hey, GA, uh, God bless you. Uh, so, Eridana, uh, the Lord is talking to me about worship coming out of you. So, I don't know if you're a worship leader or if you're just someone that loves to sing and dance before the Lord. But the Lord showed me as you dance and you worship before God, it's like Jehoshaphat where you went as a worship leader in front of the army of Israel and the Lord fight, uh, fought the battle on their behalf. I feel the, the, the Lord says that He's going to fight a battle in your family and uh, uh, in your life and in your family's life. It's going to help you. But the Lord says He wants you to take action, to trust Him, to declare His word and then to sing the praises of God. You know, when we sing praises, then it's difficult for us to be depressed and negative. We have to focus on Him. We can't focus on our own thoughts. And so the Lord is going to help you to set you free. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Anami. Anami, I see how you are in this, um, it's almost like an animal, a big, like an animal camp. And then you want to go out. But as you touch the gate, the gate gets smaller and smaller and smaller. And you, then you can't open the gate. And these are, these are, um, I said as, as, you know, God wants to bring you into a new area. He wants to enlarge your area. He wants to take you to the next camp, to the next area. But there is distraction. It's almost like doubt. I hear the words doubt. Because the more you want to, grab on this cage the less the, you know the smaller the the, uh, the the gate gets for you to enter into your next season so God says trust him fully do not doubt because because he wants better things for you and he wants you to move into your next season because there where you are the season is finished and he wants um, better better things for you be blessed okay awesome uh, Anami uh, God bless you Anami you're always a blessing to me always write comments uh, thank you very much uh, so Thomas uh, Thomas the Lord shows me a season of acceleration in your life. It's as if you were a little bit stuck, a little bit delays on things in your life, but the Lord is going to help you for things to fall into place. And, the, and that happens because you, I, th I think you made two decisions. One, to trust in God. And number two, to receive vision from God. And once you did those two things, the Lord is speeding things up in your life. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Lydia. Lydia, I see you um, standing at a crossroad, and there's two choices that you need to make. Um, and and but the the choice that you need to make is is highlighted by the Lord, and He clearly shows you what to do. So this is really it's going it's going to be a test of obedience. It's going to be a test that you that you open up your spiritual ears and you open up your spiritual eyes so that you can see where the light is shining, and so that you can hear God's voice where you need to go. And I also see that when you know when you go on this path, I see there will be a breakthrough in your family i don't know if there's been disunity in your family but god will reunite your family so that there is unity again and i see you all just sitting together and laughing and telling each other stories and and that will be done by the god the father be blessed hey lydia god bless you remember supernatural provision keep on trusting god for your provision all right uh, so next word is for Angeline Santiago. So Angeline, I really felt that the Lord says He doesn't want you to separate from your family. He wants you to stay with Him, to work with Him, to, 
to be in unity with Him. And then the Lord shows me how your family love each other. They work together and I accomplish great things for God. And there's a blessing. Uh, there's a, a protection for you uh, in your family. And of course, you yeah, have now a plan. You want to go somewhere and do something different in your own thing. I just felt, just wait on God's time. Right now, I feel the Lord says, stay with your family. God bless you. I mean, next word is for Matthew. Matthew, I feel that there is, uh, it's almost like... Um, your mind is being there's, there's there's not clear vision in your mind because you are um, your mind is cluttered with chaos. Your mind is cluttered with with things of of, of um, so it's like almost like things that that's pressure. There's pressure on on you and you can't think clearly. And God comes and He just takes off, does brain surgery and gives you a mind of Christ so that you can yeah. focus on heavenly things. You can focus on things above and not on earthly things. And there you will get your answer. There you will get your guidance and there you will get your breakthrough so that you can have the tools and the strategies to get through all these obstacles so that God can give you breakthrough in that area. Be blessed. Okay. Uh, Matthew, uh, God loves you. Um, a lot of the things that God does in your life is physical manifestation. It's not all just spiritual. All right. So trust in God that He will physically intervene in your life. Yes. All right. So next word is for Kate Flanders. All right. So Kate, the Lord shows me Queen Esther in the Bible and how she had beauty and courage uh, to obey the Lord and I felt that the Lord says he's giving you those, those same qualities and attributes so that you can uh, have doors open up for you and you can work for God you can be an influencer and you can be one that stands for truth and so the Lord is raising you up uh, he's strengthening you he's giving you clear vision uh, for you to do something great for God and I felt that same uh, rulership anointing that and also intercession anointing that was on Esther the Lord is also giving to you God bless you I mean next word is for all you um, I, I feel or I see that you're standing in a field and you are a shepherd but you're looking and you don't see any of your sheep and then all of a sudden you do a whistle and then all your sheep comes to you and it's almost like God wants you to 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 um, whistle the word of God to, 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 to bring the lost sheep so that you can preach the word of God, so that you can really bring people into the kingdom of God. But you have a you have a whistle, you have a, a word that you need to teach people, you have a word or a testimony that you need to share with people yeah. in order to get them into that place so that they are in the safe place and under the word of God. Be blessed. Yeah, although uh, in that scripture it says there, you shall declare a thing and God will establish it. Amen. And you know what happens? Sometimes we keep quiet. And then nothing happens. And so we are co-laborers with God. He wants us to open our mouth and to say something. You have authority on this earth. And so the Lord wants you to use it. Hey, right. okay, family, it was a privilege for me and Elisma to minister to you. So I want to encourage you. Elisma is also on YouTube. She also has a Facebook account. Go and check her out. Uh, you can just type in Elisma van der Rooyen in Facebook or... Yeah, God first. God first. Yes. GGK. So it's God, God 1 ST. GGK for glorifying God's kingdom. Okay, awesome. So you can go and check that out. Um, and then Amy, um, who sometimes also ministers with, she's got the singing YouTube channel, Amy Storm. She works very, very hard on her channel. She really wants to also become an influencer. And then I have Unity with Heaven where I post teachings. And so you can go and check that out. Also, I love and appreciate each one of you. Thank you for being part of Unity with Heaven and our lives. God bless you. Thank you for joining Unity with Heaven. Remember to subscribe, like, comment and join our newsletter. If you want to support us, please click on the PayPal link. May God bless you abundantly. Remember, you are valuable and we love and appreciate each one of you. If you enjoyed this content and you want to see more, Please click yeah.